Well, Dave, congratulations on being elected. Uh, you must be delighted. Um, yeah, I, I mean, as I've uh, said, it's just a surprise to be here. I'm so glad I am. Um, obviously, I, I kind of did a different campaign, and uh, I'm just glad it's paid off in that way. It's, uh, it's brilliant. It's still kind of sinking in a bit, but it's only kind of everyone's phoning you up wanting to speak to you for interviews and stuff like this that it's starting to kind of go through that you have got it. What was it about your campaign that, uh, that won you the election? I'm hoping it was um, because I took it a different way that I tried to sell myself on policies. Um, I mean, it seemed to strike a chord with a lot of people the way that went. Um, I, I explain my policies, I say that how they're achievable. And I think a lot of people were kind of like, that's, that's good. I, I'm glad you're kind of in, you know, um, going on that level. And that this isn't just kind of some kind of spin. This isn't you just thought these vague policies. Uh, that's what seemed to sit, uh, hit a chord anyway. Mm. How did it feel when it was announced um, from Mark Willoughby that you were to be the next union president? Um, I, I can remember uh, being grabbed and then pulled to the floor. Um, I don't know, it was just kind of a whole, just range, just like it's happened. It's, I mean, when, when Rebecca, Rebecca got uh, elected, it was kind of, well, maybe I can, because that was a whole kind of like, she had the detailed policies as well. Uh, and it was like, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it will be different this year, and not the kind of same character that, as I say, kind of runs every year. Um, and it was, just, it was just nice to go through that. but. It was just it was just a lot to take in at the time, but it was just so nice with obviously everyone that's helped you out on the campaign and all your friends being there and it's just straight on stage and grab you and it was just I don't know I, I, it's still in my head now, mm. but it was absolutely a brilliant moment. Was there a point in the campaign where you did think this this could actually happen? Um, when the voting started, because the thing was as, as I said like before, um, I'd never had the presence on the ca on the concourse the week before. Um, a lot of people have not heard of you, and the thing was I was putting a lot of groundwork in. Um, I was there, as I say, like uh, uh, not on the slide, but I was there just talking to people, getting engaged. And I don't know, a lot of people didn't see that happening. Um, but that's the way. I, I, I just thought I'll try and speak to people. And if I can sell that I am genuine and I, I am running on policies, um, then hopefully I'll just try it. I'll see if it works. Um, it has, but I mean, there was there was a very rare time. I mean, on the night, obviously, just running on optimism, and it's just kind of maybe, maybe. Um, it was just, it was, it was like the sl I noticed like kind of halfway through the campaign, I like kind of changing the wind, if that makes sense, from like an uphill battle, going, no one's heard of me, no one's done this, yeah, it was kind of like this is this is going to lose it. To so kind of when people go, oh, he came in my lecture, yeah, yeah, I remember speaking to you, yeah, definitely, but I've told my friends, and it just kind of that came in on the last week, kind of, uh, so it did work out well. It was just kind of a, dif a different attack to take, but it was just, it just felt kind of relief when people go, oh, yeah, I've heard about you. And it was just it was just the kind of that like changed the wind that kind of just thought well maybe I'm in with a chat here. What can students of this union expect from the, from their new president? Um, hopefully something completely different. Um, as I say, I want to kind of remove myself from kind of the day to day services and stuff like this and focus on serious issues. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the education officer, but I do think that education is you know obviously one of the most vital things that the union should be fighting on. I mean, uh, as I've said, the services and that like, are brilliant here, and that's that's not going to be affected by what what I orientate my time on. Um, but I think that kind of by doing the lobbying and by consulting um, on serious issues, as I say, with accommodation, education, uh, and also like the recycling and stuff, if we get these serious issues tackled, that's what I believe a president should be doing, fighting the serious battles, why kind of middle management are getting on with their day-to-day -day services, which they do so well.